When you joined the Celtics, Kuzi was the biggest star in the league. Yes. Bob Kuzi, still today, was the best guy on the pass break. So Kuzi says to me after I got there, you're a pretty good rebounder. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the things I'm good at. And so we talked, and we decided a spot we want him to go to whenever shots taken. When I get a rebound, he said, I'll be the first place you go. So you get the rebound over your head, and you're already turning to see I'm where he is, and you're hitting that spot, and he's off. Yeah. So our fast break was started as the shot was taken. Styles of play have changed, too, making for a more aggressive, crowd-pleasing brand of ball. The key to this new style of play is the fast break. The thing that struck me watching the tapes, you know, everybody talks about small ball now, and that's like new rage and centers don't matter as much on this stuff. I watched those tapes of the 1960 Celtics and it basically was small ball. It was up and down and it was similar to what people think they're watching now. Well, one of my great, I think, attributes, I could play with anybody. Explain the process to me, though, about what it took for you to get in the state of mind you needed to be just to play. I had to almost be in a rage. Nothing went on outside the border out of the court. I could hear anything and see anything and nothing better. And I could anticipate every move that every player made. So somebody would be dribbling over midcourt, and in your head, you already kind of knew it was going to happen. Yeah. West, West all alone. Look at Russell come down. And what a play by Russell. Now, you take the MVP trophies uh, that I won five times. I think we have all five right there. I never finished any higher than third leading scorer on my team. But you're always second in assists. You're always yeah. first in rebounds. And then they didn't keep track of blocks, which was the big tragedy of your career, statistically. That's not a tragedy. Well, it's sad. I mean, there's no... We use statistics well, see, now to measure everything. Not, see, it's not sad to me. Well, it's sad for me. I wrote the book. <laughs> I, I wrote a 700-page basketball book. I was trying to figure out, like, how to put what you were doing defensively in context. There's no way to do it. I mean, there's been well, nobody well, like you since. Folks tell me, say, you know, you're a great defensive player. I said... Most of the guys I played against are probably very offensive. <laughs>